have a uh, four ton former carry 2007 coil blowout it's on a horizontal system uh, usually what happens is customer calls the system's great put it in X amount of years ago and it doesn't work it tells me the bad evaporator former carry corrosion so go up in the attic drain pan this is how it has oil sheen across it basically you're done you're done it's leaking it needs to be changed out here's the coil here the left side's good it's fine Nice and dry. Let's dry down to here. I find this blue stripe here amusing. I don't know why it's here. But our staining starts right here. It's coming down here. It's going across. It's real oily down here. Down here and oily in here too looking at the back side here this is fine no leak no leak right here starts our oil staining on the sheet metal from here down bad you see all the way down here it's all dark darker you see the color contrast from dry to an oil sheen look on the coil here this row is concerning here this here this here It doesn't write very well, but from here down, that's all oil. Our end shields, this one's clean. And this is all oil right in here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is all oil. It's an oil slick. So it's a leaky coil, non-repairable. Former carry corrosion. We're all scrapped out here, but I was going to show you the rifle tubing. That's um, so they can increase the efficiency. So if they use regular copper, the coil would be six foot tall. So it's rifled and it's ultra thin. And also made with global materials. But uh, Yep, this coil has been replaced.